reception friends okay guys so to get us all warmed up about patterns we're going to do some number and patterns and work out um the numicon patterns so in the first one you've got a two and a three 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 so what must come next what should be in the place of that question mark can you have a think and work it out what are you coming up with Ooh, let me know okay i'm gonna tell you you should have come up with a two okay because if you look back, it's a repeating pattern and two is at the beginning and after every B, which is the three, you can see that there is an A, which is a two. So that should come next. Okay, on to the next one. We have a five and then we have a six. That's our A and our B. I'm not gonna help you again with this one. I'm gonna see if you can work it out yourself. What should come where the question mark is? Who can work that out? Hmm. What might go there? Go through it, work out your A, B, A, B, and it should be A, five. Okay, guys, this is where it gets a lot trickier. So here we have a three, a four, and a five. A three, a four, and a five. A three, a four, and a five. Can you guys work out the name of that pattern? Okay, we have three Numicon that are repeating themselves. What is the name of that pattern? I hope you got it it's an abc pattern okay so can you guys work out what should be in the place of the question mark what numicon should that one be have a good think see if you can work it out okay it should be a three good job if you've got that Okay, guys, on to our final one before we start today. We've got a one Numicon, a two Numicon, and a three Numicon. So, can you guys work out how that's repeating? Suss out what kind of pattern it is. Is it an AB? Is it an ABC? Or is it an AAB? And then, can you guys find the answer? What should be where the question mark is? Hmm. Have a good thing and try and work it out try if if saying the numbers or the colors aren't helping you try saying a b c if that's going to help you to work out what should come next you can draw it and write it down if that's going to help you let's have a think okay and big reveal the next numicon should be a one good job Okay guys, we are going to be doing something really, really exciting today and we are going to be finding patterns where we live. Okay, we've done a lot of learning so far on patterns, but now what we're going to look at is to see where are the patterns all around us that we're just not taking notice of. Okay, it might be on, I mean, I don't know yet, I haven't looked, I'm gonna take you with me for a look. It might be in our clothes, it might be on food packaging, it might be on wallpaper, in the decoration, on pillows, cushions, wherever we live, okay? So I'm gonna take you guys with me and we're gonna go and have a good old look. And if you really wanna challenge yourself, you can try and work out what kind of pattern it is. So is it an AB, is it an ABC, is it an AAB, okay? We'll have a look and see. Shall we get started? I'm very excited, let's get going. Okay guys, so I'm looking around my house and first of all, I spot a blanket. <gasps> And I can see on the blanket, it's got a pattern of colors. The way it's been knitted, it's going white, gray, yellow. White, gray, yellow. Hmm, what pattern would you call this? Can you have a think? I think that's an ABC pattern. Good job. Okay, off to see what else we can find with patterns on it. Oh, and look at this cushion. So on this cushion, it has some shapes on it. And the shapes are, these ones are like a red maroon color and the other ones are blue. So it goes maroon, well blue, maroon, blue, maroon. That, what kind of a pattern is that? Can you have a think? Can you guess what pattern that is? That's an AB pattern, okay? Because it's going maroon, blue, then it repeats maroon blue good job 
Okay, now look here. So this is going to be tricky to give it a pattern name, but it is still a pattern, okay? Because it's not, the tissue box isn't just pink, it has a pattern on it, and the pattern is of some beautiful leaves. Um, so we might not be able to give the pattern a name because we can't see where it repeats, but it is still a pattern, we know that which is good. This was me just looking um, in the food cupboard to see if I could find any patterns, but I wasn't successful, but that's okay, because I'm just looking around to see what I've got. You guys might have some different food to me, and it might be that the things you have in your cupboards do have patterns on them, um, which would be really exciting. So now I'm looking around just to see what else I can spot. It's not that easy. Oh, and then I found on my curtains. There is a pattern on my curtains. It does repeat and they're not all the same color. Um, it goes from very different shades, a black, then a gray, a light blue, a cream. Um, again, hard to name, but then I saw in my mug, I have repeating patterns again. This is the same shape, same pattern that just repeats, repeats, repeats again and again. It's not A, B, it's just a repeating pattern. Now I found when I was walking around looking, it's actually harder to spot them than I thought it was going to be. Um, but then it was things like this carpet, this rug, that I would see that has a pattern on it because it's not just a block colour, so it has got a pattern on it um, and that still counts as a pattern. It's just too small for me to know how it's repeating, but I can identify that it's a pattern. So if you could do that, that's great. Here I have a folder and on the folder it's pink as the background and then it has different shades on it. Um, it's not repeating perfectly, this folder, but it is still a pattern, but it's not an AB, ABC or AAB pattern, but still a pattern. And then I was just looking here at my note, note pad box and it's got polka dots background, which is a pattern, and then it has some beautiful flowers on it. Okay? Okay guys, now it is your turn. So Rocco and Peaches want to know, what patterns can you find in your house or your home? Um, I'd like you to have a look around. You can either draw them if you can, you can write about them in your workbook, you can write what it was. If it's a curtain, you can say, I found a, a pattern on my curtain. It was blue and red and it had stripes on it. If it's an AB, an AAB or an ABC pattern, then you can write that as well, just for, to add more detail about it. Or if you're really brave, you could try to copy some of the patterns that you found. Okay, good luck.